Hi, it's Jane with Scraptastic Yarns, and I have a little bit of a haul that I would share with you. One of them was a friend haul. Excuse the messy hair, but I've been out in the wind. Well, the friend haul, gorgeous, gorgeous sparkly yarns. Gorgeous. First of all is this Karen Christmas Glitter. Those can be considered hauls, right? And then there are two of these skeins, which are the red, green, white with the sparkle in it. And then there is a beautiful, this is a Red Heart Super Saver Metallic in what they call light gray with that sparkle in it. Hope you can see that. A little bit of the sparkle. And there's a little bit left over of another piece of that one. Ooh, pretty, pretty. And this one is a Red Heart Holiday. And it is called... It has no name. It just has a dye lot. But it is red and green. And then there are three more of the red with the sparkles. And there is one that is a white and gray. A little bit of sparkle in it. There you go, you can see a little bit of that sparkle. And then this, I believe, is a Karen, may not be, has the red, red sparkle in it. But that was a friend haul. She's cleaning out her um, storage unit, so she gave me that. Then we went to Scraps and Skeins, and you know Scraps and Skeins is... Well, it's not really local to me. It's about 45 minutes away, but it is a reused store for um, fiber crafts, those kind of things. So, I went in. Basically, I was taking in a bunch of stuff that had been given to me. Some of it I couldn't use. Some of it was... I've had several people give me things, so I just gathered everything to take it in. But while I was there... They had this fabric. Isn't that cute with the cupcakes? They had it in the pink and in the blue background. So I picked that up. Those will most likely be made into um, <coughs> drawstring bags. And then they had green fabric half price. This is um, because it was green, it's half off. And I think this was 11 something, 11.25 <coughs> for two and a half yards, but I got it half price. Good deal. And then I saw this and kind of fell in love with it. I'm going to open it up a little bit. <coughs> Beautiful hibiscus flowers. These will be made into um, most likely a tote and a drawstring bag. <coughs> then I did find one more fabric, and this one I kind of like too. It is blue with a background print. I don't know if I will use this for lining or if I will use it to make bags or maybe even something else. I don't know. But while I was in there, I had gone into my um, <coughs> thread stash, crochet thread, and I realized that I was missing colors. And, you know, I've been crocheting those little um, angels that go on the um, clothespins. So I thought, well, I'll look and see if they have some. 
pick these up, 75 cents each. Number 10 thread, Aunt Lydia's classic. <coughs> then we went outside. And you know, outside, I tell you all the time, they have those free bins. So I do use black a lot. So I did pick up this skein of black. And this is a Color Craft Sayel Orlan from the Ames store. I don't know if you remember the Ames store, but um, yeah, I did pick that up. Then I also found this Simply Caron. Now there is a project that came with it. The person was either working on the project and gave up or something, I don't know. And I don't know what they were making or trying to make. Looks like maybe a sleeve of something. Oh, I got a bonus! Anyway, they had this skein, and this skein is the Oceana, is what the label says. And it does look like it's most likely a whole skein, and I will undo that and wrap that up. But the bonus was a crochet hook. A E hook. It's a boy. It's a boy! But, um, yeah, I did pick that up simply because I looked at it and thought that's close to a full skein and I can find things to do with that. But, Izzy, will you get out of that? Izzy's in the bag, one of the bags. But then I found this beautiful fabric. This is white, um, almost a linen. And, um... I was wanting to make a tablecloth, and I think that is enough to make me a tablecloth. And then there is another one, is almost the same kind of linen, a little thicker. Um, but I'll probably use that for something else. I do have something in mind for that. But yeah, I did find those two. And then while I was in there, I found there was this bag. And this bag just happened to have some size 10 crochet thread, blue, purple, yellow, red, orange, and green. So yeah, that's, that is one reason I love these free bins, because you never know what you are going to find in there. And so I do have another, it looks to be a fairly full, you know, ball of the thread. So, and I can use that for a couple of other things. But yeah, that was kind of the uh, shopping haul for that. But then we went over to Michael's because I had a $5 off voucher. And I really didn't need anything, wasn't thinking about yarn, but then I was like, yeah, you know, I'll go see if they have something different that I don't have. Maybe take $5 off one of those big Karen cakes and <coughs> walk through, and I didn't really find anything I liked. But Loops and Thread, with their soft classic, had this um, leaf green in. And they've not had it in very often. And I do like this color green, so I picked up two of them. And, of course, they were regular price. And so when I got up to the register, you know, they're $3.99 each. So that's, what, $8? Figure $5 off. I had a 50% off coupon, which, you know, took one of those half off. And so I figured, oh, I'm probably going to have to buy, you know, about five dollars, that kind of thing. But after they took off everything, I owed 58 cents. I don't know how that happened. I don't know um, 
because looking at it, you know, I can't figure out their coupon structures the way they do things. But by the time she took everything off, I had 58 cents for two skeins of yarn. So that was a good day, Tater, a real good day. And then afterwards, we, we kind of, we went over to Joanne's, kind of piddle farted around it there. I was looking for some buttons for a project that I have, because um, I had someone ask me to make a project bag for them. And I needed some baseball buttons. And, um, you know, Michaels used to have those findings and things. They used to have those buttons for different seasons, those kind of things. But um, they didn't have them. When I'd asked, I was told they no longer carry them. So we went to Joanne's, did find the baseball buttons. Um, those are over there. I'm not going to show you them. They're just shank buttons that are, look like a baseball with the baseball threads on them, you know, in red. So that's it. So that was that little bit of haul. Had fun with it. Really enjoyed doing that. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little bit of a shopping haul, friend haul. Is that a thing? Can you call it a friend haul? That's what I'm going to call it. And then, of course, my free haul, because that's one of the things that I do like about scraps and skeins. They do have those bins out there. They have all kinds of free stuff. They had um, all kinds of blanket yarn out there. Um, some of the bigger, thicker yarns, but I don't really use those, so I didn't take them. Um, I did look at a couple of things. We did pick up a couple of baby yarns for my friend who does make a lot of things with baby yarn out of the free bin so that she could add those to her projects. So, yeah, that's kind of it for this afternoon for that little haul. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again soon. Remember, be kind to one another. Be kinder to yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye.